everybody, it is Kalaxin here, and if you guys enjoy this video, you guys should subscribe. Remember to ring that notification bell so you get notified about miraculous videos. And if you guys want to talk with us more, you can join our Discord server or follow me over on social media. Today we are going to be talking about Adrian dying, which I know is a topic that a lot of people are not necessarily a fan of or happy about to discuss. But we are going to sort of uh, do an analysis and a theory about that subject now. I made this video back in April 24th, 2018, okay? I have the original script, I have the receipts, the video is gone now for like boring reasons I don't want to get into, but it did exist. I kind of wanted to remake this theory for a long time, and the reason why I want to remake it now is it seems like there has been a, almost a resurgence of um, a comment that Thomas Astruck, uh, who is, you know, one of the writers, one of the creators of the show, uh, made a while ago. Lots of people are like, oh, Thomas is just joking, he's being sarcastic, but I'm like, sis, I had this idea way before I ever saw his tweet, and now I believe my idea even more. Because I'm like, what if he's just, you know, counting on us to think that he's just joking, and he's being, like, serious, guys. And so that's my concern. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my old theory and sort of putting in the new elements uh, from recent times, from the recent uh, sort of episodes. So this is still my 2018 theory, technically, but it has some amendments now that we know what's up. Okay, so my first major point, and this is even backed by Cat Blanc now, is that Gabriel does not give a flying fuck about his son. We know that the wish has something to do with equivalent exchange to some extent. Like, we know that there's that sort of rule, that there's a price to pay when you make a wish. And so I feel like that Hawk Moth is totally prepared to pay that price and sacrifice Adrian. That Adrian was sort of already planned or already marked to be this sort of sacrifice for his father, and his father knows that, which is why he, you know, it's cold towards Adrian, he doesn't, you know, care about Adrian, he sort of distances himself because he can't get attached to the sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like here's the thing, in Hawk Moth's mind, and this is so morbid and this is why my videos are not for kids, okay? He can have more children when Emily is brought back to life, right? It's like, he's probably thinking like, oh, well, I can have another son. I can't, you know, I can't have another wife. Like, I can't have another Emily. I can have more Adrians. You know what I mean? Like, he thinks of his children or of Adrian right now like an object, like something that can be replaced. Whereas his wife is irreplaceable. Like, you can't replace... Emily, but you can replace the kids. You can have more kids with her after she's fine. So I feel like that would be Hawk Moth's sort of logic, and that's why he's so willing to just use Adrian in Cap Blanc, because he's like, well, you know, may as well use my own son for my personal gains, because he was going to do that anyway. That's sort of what I'm thinking, right? My second point is like the Peacock Miraculous, right? We know that Emily got sick by using the Peacock Miraculous. And I don't want to get into the senti monster theory because I know that some of you guys don't like Adrian being a senti monster and whatever. But let's just say, hypothetically, Adrian's not a senti monster, but she used the Peacock Miraculous to somehow help her in his creation. Let's just put it that way, sis. Like, let's just say that, okay? Here's my thing. I don't understand why they would be using the Miraculous before the show started without like, one of those things being the reason, right? Because we know that they weren't terrorizing Paris, so what was she using the Peacock Miraculous for that made her so sick? It has to be something like that, and that is why he sort of has this disdain towards his son. If it weren't for you, your mother would still be alive. That's a big yikes for me, sis, but I'm sure that's how Gabriel may feel if that is the case. If you never were born, right, your mother would still be here. That's my other sort of reason. It, it would be very similar to Cat Blanc, but also very different, because it's like, no, this is like the new reality. It's not just, oh, you made a mistake. Let's go back in time and fix it. Like, no, this is a wish. He wished to, you know, like for Adrian to not exist. And then he didn't. And then no one remembers him. Like that is terrifying. That is scary. And here's my other evidence, right? And one of the web, um, I don't know, it's one of those web diary things. Marinette basically says, like, I can't imagine a world where Adrian doesn't exist. Like, that, I feel, is a big hint in foreshadowing to how this show is going to progress, is that Adrian is going to basically lose his existence, and that's why perish. You know what I mean? Adrian will perish, right? Uh, not that he'll be killed, but he will perish, right? Um, and all of that sort of stuff. So that's like a scary, like, piece of foreshadowing. A world where Adrian doesn't exist and how that affects everything and the butterfly effect of that. I also think what would be interesting, um, and Life is Strange, if you guys don't know, 
right? Uh, in Life is Strange, the characters are sort of represented by animals, and so if Chloe dies, uh, she's represented by this blue butterfly that sort of lands on Max um, and all that stuff, and you're supposed to, like, know that that blue butterfly is her, and then with Rachel, it's like Rachel is represented by this sort of, like, ghost deer situation, and so I wonder, like, what if Marinette has a black cat or something in this new timeline where Adrian doesn't exist? You know what I mean? She has a black cat, but... She, you know what I mean? Like, that would be, oh boy, and that would be Adrian. Like, Adrian would be the black cat. You know what I'm saying? So that's a scary thought. And so this is basically my two things, is that the Peacock Miraculous, I feel like, has something to do with Adrian being erased from the world, because that's probably what brought him into it, and that Gabriel was already going to use his son as a sacrifice anyway. And in terms of getting him back, we've already sort of discussed this, you know, now we have Fun X, and it'll probably be um, a very crazy couple of episodes, and I would love to see Marinette use both of the Miraculouses together, like use the Cat Miraculous and the Ladybug Miraculous without making a wish, like as a fusion, because now she doesn't have her partner anymore, and no one can replace Cat Noir, and that would be sort of sad. That is basically, like, more or less my entire theory on how Adrian's going to die and disappear um and it does have to do with the wish and the sort of equivalent exchange and this could be why right because we know that there's a new hawk moth in the future and this could be why there's a new hawk moth because after you know Adrian is sort of resurrected and brought back and maybe Emily is like no Gabriel I wouldn't have wanted this I want our son back you know when I, you know when she realizes because she probably wouldn't remember Adrian either if they made a wish like that and that's why the hawk moth miraculous gets sort of transferred and there is a new villain because hawk moth finally decides like hey you know what my own son isn't worth this like it is it worth sacrificing um my own son for my mistakes like i've learned my lesson and that's just kind of how the show would end i really do like that idea like i know i guess it's kind of cliche i don't know i just like it um so i feel like that would be a really interesting sort of ending for his reign as hawk moth right um, you know, it, it's really interesting too, because now we have Natalie and I didn't account for Natalie in my old theory. Cause when I made it, she wasn't the peacock holder. Uh, I sort of theorized that she could be in a different video. Um, but I didn't really consider her an option, like a viable option. And so my sort of idea for that is like, like what if eventually Natalie doesn't want Gabriel to bring Emily back and sort of sabotage us that, you know what I mean? Because uh, here was my other theory, and this is what I want to make another video on, right? They basically said that another villain will come up and it'll make Hawk Moth look like Child's Play, basically. You know, like Hawk Moth will look like, you know, she's 10 times more powerful than him. Like that was sort of the sentiment, not the direct quote. Natalie has been sick this entire time using the Peacock Miraculous, and if you see her fight in Felix, like she's pretty strong for someone who is basically being killed by the miraculous so now that the miraculous is fixed right like imagine her power and so imagine if she tries to go about things a different way compared to hawk moth and that is how we get into all of this mess you know what i mean like she has a sort of different approach and i would really like to see the heroes have to deal um with that whatever that approach may be but yeah that is my theory on how adrian's gonna die marinette will bring him back but he's still gonna die temporarily okay like closer to the show's uh sort of ending and all that stuff like i'm sure miraculous could continue forever i just think that eventually there will be a point where the hawk moth arc is finished so i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did remember to subscribe ring that notification bell and become a patrons over on patreon if you guys want to support the channel and i will see you guys later bye mm -hmm.